Hello everyone and welcome back to another pair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and in today's video we have an iPhone Tennis Max. Wait, wait, what, what I just said? Tennis Max. <laughs> uh, this looks very weird. Anyway, iPhone XS Max with a problem with the uh, front camera and I'm going to show you uh, what I mean right now. Uh, I already did a uh, front camera repair video and it was about an iPhone 11, but in this one I want to test uh, 30 frames per second, 2080p on my channel, so this video will be uh, 30 frames per second. Uh, I'm not sure if it will be better than the 60 frames per second, some, you know, some people will like the 60 frames per second more, I include myself that I like the 60 frames per second more, but let's test the, fra the 30 frames per second. And uh, of course this video has a little extra repair, so make sure if you have the same problem uh, to watch the video till the end, and I hope it can help you with your, uh, with your problem. So, um, as I saw, as you saw, uh, the front camera is black in the camera app, and when you try to scan or add your uh, face for Face ID, which I already did, for some reason I can still unlock the phone with Face ID, uh, so this problem has two diagnostics, of course we will begin with the easiest one or the simplest one which is just trying another front camera. Uh, if the problem is still, then the second option is to check the board. Uh, front camera connector and both cameras connectors if they are also non-functional because they have one IC for all the cameras, uh, but there is a different um, voltage line for the front camera. So uh, this is the option first option which is uh, trying another front camera but again we have the same result so I guess we will go now to the option 2 which the second option which is uh, go to the board under the microscope let's go so here you see the view of the board under the microscope and I still didn't remove the board from the housing so let me just connect my multimeter on the screen and also show you a photo of the value in diet mode for the front camera connector which is uh, G4200 and uh, we'll measure each pin and see if everything is okay and those OLs are going from uh, the connector to a capacitor, a filter capacitor to be more specific and to the CPU which gets a uh, signal from the CPU but those capac capacitors are uh, something to do with uh, filtering the, uh, the signal so the other side of the capacitor must have reading value so we can make sure that there is no disconnection or faulty in the cap itself which is very rare and for those capacitors in iPhone schematics they called LPDP filters I guess something uh, short for low pass filters or something it's not that important what the uh, short meaning is uh, so I will just tell you basic stuff about the work of those uh, filter capacitors Maybe someday I'll explain more in a short video while doing the diagnostics, but anyway. Uh, basically, the, the uh, filter capacitor is utilized to filter the components and make the output smoother, so that's why it's used for cameras. Uh, they, as shown in schematics, have a very low, high, and high-low frequency, just to act as a high-pass filter. And of course, in electronics, it's the same work, but a lot bigger, but... Uh, Let's just focus on our iPhone for now. Let's just until we do our diagnostics. Uh, as you can see, we have all the connection measured, all the capacitors. So now let's, I guess, jump to the option three, which I didn't uh, mention it yet. So with the newer iPhones from the iPhone X and up, and sometimes from the iPhone 7 and up, uh, when there's a problem with the camera, uh, the software will not recognize the rear or the front camera. Depends on the problem in which camera. And this happens most of the time with the, the, the camera itself and not a problem with the board. So now I'm going to connect my fully working front camera from a tested iPhone XS Max and just try to uh, connect and restore the device. Uh, this also works uh, with uh, update. So also if you have a problem with Face ID or you connected, uh, you restore the device without uh, connecting the Face ID uh, flex, uh, front camera, updating or restoring will do the work. So uh, I'll catch you guys uh, after the restore is finished. So the restore is finished and now we are going to activate the device and let's see, yep, the front camera is working, Face ID is also working and uh, that means that we had <coughs> A problem with the uh, front camera itself 
all the time but we just needed a restore and now I'm going to uh, activate the device and then uh, change the camera and test everything after we finish our work. So now to the part where we change the front camera. I'll try to explain everything in details as much as I can. Uh, first cover the top projector in, in the infrared camera. And now we're going to open the, uh, the part of the bracket that holds the front camera and the projector. I'm going to drill it with my USB uh, drilling machine. All the tools that I'm using in all my videos and in this video are linked in the description down below. So make sure to check it out. I'm having a lot of comments that saying uh, that are the tools that I'm using. They're all in the description a long time ago. Now there is just a little piece that hold, uh, holds the uh, brasket. So be careful. The uh, flex of the uh, top projector is underneath the brasket immediately and just apply a little heat on the front camera so you can just remove it of course carefully because it's glued and now we're going to uh, put the working that we already restored with front camera and just try to glue it and put it in a direction that it's in the middle you can use a uh, super uh, super glue or <clears throat> the way that I'm using which is the uh, gun glue I guess we'll just uh, apply a little heat and it can melt and uh, I know it's it's like a more free glue to use and you can see that with a little heat it melts and takes the shape that you want to hold the front camera and you can apply as much as you can or you want and now uh, we're going to close the bracket I'm using uh, this soldering that I'm also used in uh, soldering the BMS on the battery it melts very fast and this is also a part for the battery that holds the battery with the BMS also everything in the description down below apply a little solder and just to hold the bracket together and now we're going to uh, to the final test so I hope that I explained everything in this repair and of course this video has the right diagnostics almost full diagnostics for non-working front camera except of course we didn't talk about the output voltages of the camera IC but it's very rare that you have a problem with the camera IC itself at least for me uh, but most of the times the repair that I have and I shared with you on YouTube does not include the uh, a problem with the uh, main camera IC and now uh, for the final test we're going to test the face ID the front camera, the front camera as you can see it's working uh, if you don't have a working uh, face ID after you uh, restored with front camera just restore or update with all the uh, face ID stuff connected as you can see uh, the main camera is working the front camera is working so I guess uh, that's it for this video. Um, as always, thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. As always, stay safe and have a good day. And we'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.